the gender reveal party is becoming just as popular as the baby shower. And people are coming up with all sorts of creative ideas to break the big news to their closest family and friends. So far, I've seen balloon pops filled with confetti, balloon releases with pink or blue, and smoke bombs, as well as slicing of the cake to reveal the gender. And while most have stuck with the traditional colors of blue for a boy and pink for a girl, today I'll share with you ideas for the honeybee theme. It's super cute, and you can be as creative as you want to be. I saw this idea on Pinterest and decided to make it myself. As guests are arriving, they can participate with this interactive poster game to guess what they think the gender of the baby will be. On a sheet of poster board, draw and cut out two beehives. Use some letter stickers from the Dollar Tree to spell out boy or girl. I bought some bumblebee cutouts from Amazon that the guests can use to write their name on and then they just use a clear piece of tape to stick it to the board. This adorable sign will stay on display for the whole event to show who guessed correctly during the reveal. I've decorated this honeybee theme twice now, so here's a different variation of the same game. If you don't want to purchase your bumblebees from Amazon, you could draw them yourself and cut them out. If you have a Cricut machine, it would also come in handy for cutting out all those bumblebees. Make your theme evident by having a sign on an easel. The cursive letter stickers are from Hobby Lobby, and I used some yellow construction paper to cut out the shape of honeycomb. A couple of bumblebee cutouts from Amazon and some sunflowers from the Dollar Tree make this inexpensive sign make a statement. Here's another idea for a theme sign. Take a white piece of poster board and cut it into the shape of a mason jar. Walmart sells these pre-cut pieces of fabric for about a dollar or two. Tie it to the top of your mason jar with a piece of twine. Just tie it into a little rustic bow. I needed something sheer and gold that would look kind of like honey. Spread it over the jar and cut off the excess, taping it to the back. Can you see where I'm going with this? Yep, you guessed correct. I made a mason jar of honey. And just for added dimension, I spray painted the styrofoam that came with the packaging of the honey jars to make it look like honeycomb. Then I stuck on some bumblebee cutouts. Moving on to the treats table. I use lifts to display the food at different heights. This makes your display look more interesting than having everything flat on the table. I suspended another sweet as can be sign from a backdrop stand with yellow curtains. Then I filled the table with all kinds of sweet treats related to the theme. Here are some suggestions for your honeybee sweets table. Bit of honey candy, honey buns, honey flavored Teddy Grahams, honey nut Cheerios, honeycomb cereal, lemon drops, butterscotch candy, lemon heads candy, chocolate wrapped in gold, dandelion tea bags, and of course, jars of honey as party favors. I'll show you that next. If you're enjoying this video, please remember to scroll down and press the thumbs up button. And if you have some additional ideas for sweet treats to serve at a honeybee themed gender reveal, boy, that's a mouthful, please leave them in the comment section below. We'd love to hear from you. 
These mini size honey jars are available from Amazon. They come with a honey dipper and an adorable little bumblebee charm. You have to purchase your honey separately. After filling the jars with honey, I use the same sunflower fabric to cut into small squares to wrap on the lid of the jar. Come on now, you know these are just too stinking cute. Speaking of stinking cute, look at this little baby bumblebee wearing a diaper. I found a free image online and took it to the Walmart to have it printed onto some photo paper. I cut the images into tiny little squares and taped some toothpicks to the back to use as cupcake toppers. For the reveal vessel, I made this giant cardboard bumblebee to be used as a candy drop. I attached a ribbon to his top so that he could be suspended from either a door frame, a ceiling, or if you're outside, even from a tree. The mom and dad to be just pull his feet to open his belly and release the candy. Use yellow candy and confetti for a girl and black candy and confetti for a boy. Another option is to decorate an empty box. Put a baby doll inside and dress it in either boy or girl's clothing for the reveal. Now let's take a look at how my client used all of our DIY decorations. Well, that was tons of fun. I hope you got some good ideas and got your creative juices flowing for your next DIY project. Please subscribe to my channel. It's free. And remember to press the like button before you go. Come back again. I post new videos every week on decorating, event planning, and lifestyle. I'm Steph Storm, and you'll see me next time.